Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. So what we achieved in the previous video so far, we displayed our first ALB grid. Our second ALB grid is blank. Based upon the double click event on the first ALB grid, we have to fill the second ALB grid and this is our functionality. It is a event based functionality because user is performing the double click event, double click event. We'll see how to achieve this requirement. And in the past, we covered the topic events and now that topic will play an important role here. I will go to my class, CLGUI ALB grid. You can go to events tab, events tab of this particular class. And you can see we have a double click event here. This event will help us to achieve our requirement. We will use this event of this particular class to achieve our requirement. Now I'll just go for the some history of event topic, then we will continue our requirement. We have a triggering method in the event topic which is raising the event. Once the event will raise, we should handle the event using event handler method. And then we have to register the event handler method. That is what we did in the event topic. Now, what we will do whenever user will double click whenever user will double click on the first alv grid so double click event will trigger double click event will trigger who will handle that event our event handler method so what we will do in our program we will create a event handler method for what we will create a event handler method for the double click event of our CLGUI ALB grid class means we will create a event handler method for the double click event of this particular class CLGUI ALB grid then we will register our event handler method. We'll do these steps. And the prerequisite is event topic should be clear. Then we can understand the topic more better. I'll go to change. I will create a event handler method for the double click event of CLGUI ALB grid class. How we will do? I will write class, suppose my class name is class one definition. End class. I will create a event handler method in this class. How to give a method? We know methods is the keyword to declare an instance method. Suppose my name of the method is suppose handle suppose. Now I will write for event. What is our event? What is our event in this particular class? Double underscore click of which particular class? 
this particular class. So we created a event handler method for double click event of this particular class. Now, if I want to write the logic in this event handler method, how we can write class, class one implementation and class. I will write method handle and method. So whatever the logic I will write here, it will trigger on the double click event. We all know how to write the logic in the class. We have to create a implementation and we can write the logic in that method. In the event topic, if you remember, we did the same thing. We created a event handler method by using the same syntax. So whenever user will double click, so at that time, your double click event will raise and who will handle that event event handler method. Now, we all know we have to register the event handler method because how system understand that whenever you will double click, you have to call the event handler method. How system understand we have to register the event handler method. So how to register the event handler method? We'll write the syntax now. So if we will see this method handle, which we declare is a instance method. It means we require a object. So we will declare a object data hello underscore object type ref to our class but the class name we gave class one if you see this is the name of the class which we gave now we will create the object create object object name how to register the event handler method of this particular class set handler we already learned how to register the keyword is set handler what is the object name hello underscore object if you want to register the instance method what is the symbol for instance method? This is the operator for instance method. And what is the instance method? I'll say event handler method name. Handle. Now we resist, want to register the event handler method for which particular class, which particular ALB grid, which particular ALB grid. If I will show you the requirement, what was the requirement? I'll just run it. What was the requirement? Whenever you will double click on first ALV grid, you want to fill the second ALV. So whenever you will double click, Whenever you will double click, your double click event will raise of which particular ALV grid? This first particular ALV grid. Who will handle the event? This particular event handler method. This particular event handler method. How system understand that whenever you will double click, it has to call the event handler method. It means we have to register the event handler method. And this method is registered for what? 
first ALV grid object. And what is our first ALV grid object? Hello underscore ALV1. This is our object for the first ALV grid. On double click of first ALV grid, you want the event handler method to trigger. So we have to pass, we have to pass. So how this particular logic will trigger? Whenever you will double click on the first ALV grid, system will understand that we have to call the logic which is the part of event handler method as of now we have not written any logic we are just understanding the process so what is the conclusion here for the double click event of alv grid we created a event handler method because whenever double click event will raise, who will handle event handler method. And we will write the logic in the event handler method. But how to register the event handler method for the first ALB grid? For the first ALB grid, we registered our event handler method. I'll check the syntax. Before checking the syntax, I will make this logic as a part of start of selection. This logic will execute whenever we will click on the execute button. I'll check the syntax. Okay. We all know we have to use public section whenever we are declaring the method. Okay. Now I will show you in debugging mode how it is calling our event handler method. I'm running. I'm giving some input. Now whenever I will double click, double click event will raise. Who will handle event handler method? Whenever I will double click, and you can see my breakpoint automatically stopped on the implementation, I'll say our event handler method. How the breakpoint stopped on the event handler method because we registered the event handler method for the first ALV. So whenever you double clicked on the first ALV, your particular event handler method or particular event handler method will trigger. In the next video, we will write the logic into this event handler method. Thank you.